Good morning, this is Deborah Matthews, Vicar of Verwood and Three-Legged Cross. Today we begin the Church's New Year. Just like January the 1st, Advent Sunday is the time to take a new look at where we are and where we want to be by the end of this brave new year. We begin where we started, to think about where we are heading. And so in Advent, we look back in the Bible to the words of the prophets and mothers and fathers of the church. When we review our own lives, we often want to go back to our beginning and sometimes even earlier to before we were born because we are interested in our own family tree. The television programme, Who Do You Think You Are?, has attracted great interest as well-known personalities chase their ancestors and often in doing this, they discover new things about themselves. Looking back with interest can be helpful to us as we consider who we are in our relationships with each other and with God. During this last year, many people who haven't thought much about God for a while have paused for thought, either to pray or to question how a God of love could allow such an awful pandemic to happen and have such a devastating effect upon the world. When we consider this question, alongside the difficulties and tensions within our current situation, we can find that the ancestors in their context, with their own tensions, can help to inform our response today. A prophet named Isaiah was writing centuries before the birth of Christ, at a time of great turmoil and anguish. The empire around Babylon had forcibly removed the elite and prosperous people of Jerusalem and Israel and deported them a thousand miles away to Babylon, where they lived under military control in a foreign land and within a disapproving society. And Psalm 137 describes the yearning of the people and the lament for their homeland. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and there we wept when we remembered Zion. Our captors asked us for songs, but how could we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? The prophet Isaiah was faced with a people in mourning. Some of them were experiencing an awful doubt over the existence of their God and the belief that God had abandoned them amongst unbelievers and no longer cared about them. And so Isaiah sought to bring comfort and guidance to the people, teaching them that their God was still with them, even in a foreign land. He taught about a God of love who suffers with his people. Isaiah's vision has resonated with so many people throughout the ages. Isaiah writes of a time when peace would reign, when the wolf shall live with the lamb, The leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the lion and the fatling together with a little child to lead them. In this prophecy, the vulnerable will be safe with the powerful and the innocent and loving one will lead the way. Isaiah speaks of a time when suffering will end and God will be justified as a loving God who has never deserted his people but suffered with them. And I believe that God knows our questions, our doubts, our sorrows and our fears and has come into the world to show us that he will be with us through everything. For God sent his son into the world so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. And so we pray during these weeks of Advent that God will be beside each one of us on our journey and keep us close and that the message of love and hope that has reached through the generations will help us to work through our own fears and tensions and build a vision for the future. God bless all of you.